I'm Brian Lester from How to Out of Mud, and I am super pumped because my girlfriend is crazy and she went out and bought this 2000 Z3. Uh, she saw this pretty little paint job on this and she goes, I have to have it. She made the guy an offer and here it is, it's in our driveway. So in this video, she wants to know if she did good. Did she buy a good car? She didn't know anything about the car. She just knew it had a pretty paint job and she had to have it. So we're gonna go through this car uh, look it over from you know end to end and basically do a pre buyer's inspection and see if she got a good deal or not. So come with me and we're going to check this hot rod out. So we're going to start with a quick little test drive and see how she handles, how she performs, brakes, and how the transmission shifts. So it drives amazing. You can definitely tell it needs a set of shocks and struts on it. Um, this uh, this car is pretty lightweight. These things are only around 3,000 pounds or 3,100 pounds. Uh, so it's a pretty light car. So you don't need like massive amounts of horsepower. This thing is very zippy little car. But for now, I'm just excited to have a fun little car that we can take out on the weekends and zip around and just, you know, have fun. To the spot where we can give it the beams here and uh, see what she's got behind the, the engine here. See if she's got some ponies. So, so far, it's like I said, it's peppy. Give her the beams here, let's get, make sure this car is by, and then we'll hammer. She does pretty good on the pickup. Here's a little windy little road in my neighborhood here. country living it is a neighborhood but it does have some fun corners so these little cars they turn on a dime and they stop on a dime and they are just just flat out fun she bought it because it has extremely nice paint on it. Uh, this car is 23 years old. It's a 2000, like I said, convertible roadster here. Um, I'm pretty sure it's been repainted, but uh, it's been done very nicely. This paint job on it is super nice. The only flaw on the whole paint job I've found so far, I mean, real flaw is right up on the leading edge here, a little bit of clear coat peeling here. But I, know I have some friends in the paint and body industry and they can they can help us out fix that up so the interior of it is pretty clean uh the seat driver seat here is possibly have been reupholstered here because it's so much nicer than the passenger seat there uh like i said this car has not been cleaned up or anything it's just the way she found it so this vehicle has not been cleaned up or anything this is exactly the way she found it uh she only paid five thousand dollars for this vehicle it has 160,000 miles on it it does have some flaws. It smells a little musty inside here, a little dusty, kind of a dusty uh, smell. Convertible top works very well. Power top, it goes up and down, does everything a power top should do. Uh, there's some flaws in here, as you can see here, that you know needs a little work. Uh, the back window here is a little cloudy, but other than that, uh, it's in good shape. It does have an airbag light on. Um, I notice, uh, one of the problems it has is the lock tumbler here is not either the rod fell off or something so the key doesn't work uh here so you got the door panel off that's the reason why the door panel is off so we can look into that and fix that but it had we have the door panels the matching door panel just as good a condition as the passenger side there it has an aftermarket stereo here uh sounds okay not the best sounding stereo you've ever heard uh i'm not a big fan of the the wood paneling here on it maybe we'll we'll change that out in the future but the ac works uh, all the uh the all the functions the clocks and everything everything works on the car all the power windows the emergency flashers all that works so pretty stoked on that all the turn signals everything on that works we've been driving around for a little bit one of the things i like about this engine bay here is there's none of that that goopy sh uh, shiny stuff all over the covers and everything trying to make it look better than what it is uh, it's just clean 
nothing no dressing on it or anything so everything is dry and you can see exactly everything you get here there's nothing being hidden so that was a good sign so at some point in its life somebody tried to make it look like an m car this is not an m car this is the 2.8 liter um inline six engine here um but overall you know it looks to be in pretty good shape just from first glance uh everything is there everything is hooked up uh, nothing missing or anything like that all the covers are there um, I did notice a little bit of leakage here at the uh, at the crimp here on the quick connect uh, radiator hose no big deal but uh, no uh, no overheating issues or anything we've been driving it for a couple of days now uh, it is due for some service like oil change according to the uh, the service indicator on the dashboard is due for an oil change almost positive this car has been repainted but they did a good job because there's like no overspray on the fenders or anything like that all the fender linings all that stuff is there the headlights have definitely been replaced i actually think they've been sprayed uh, like a like a uh, fog in like a tinted color looks like there's a little bit of paint right there where it's been fogged in so it kind of has a custom look to it like i said the ac works fine it was really common for valve covers to leak on BMWs. And uh, overall, if it does, it's just barely leaking. It's not nothing, no major drips or runs or anything. So it looks pretty good to me. So I'm not going to have to do that for a while. Another common uh, oil leak on it is the oil filter housings here. Uh, one of the things that's also a common problem on BMWs is they have the, the breather system, oil separator, PCV system. It's it's here. This hose right here, I can tell it's been replaced and it's new. And it is a BMW part number on it, so it looks like a factory one. Uh, this Vanos hose is also a common oil leak here. And as you can see, it looks like it has been changed. Um, so nothing too serious. Uh, the air intake boot here looks to be in solid condition. It actually looks kind of new and it's very soft and pliable. These things can get rock hard and they start cracking, especially right back here where the uh, idle air control motor is hooked up. They split right there. Yeah, some nice uh, rims here. I think these are from a different vehicle or they've just been painted up and refreshed because it looks like there is a little bit of... Uh, curb rash there but you can see it looks like it's been either power coated over or painted over so the rims look really nice and sharp uh it has decent tires on it you know they've got plenty of tread on them. about 85 maybe 90 percent left on the tread on all four of them uh you can see a little bit of surface rust on the brakes where it had been sitting for a while the car has had been sitting and it's pretty close to being needing a set of front brake pads on it rear brakes are down to about there are about 70% left on the life on them. So uh, we have one tail light out. I noticed in, when I was uh, doing my inspection on this thing. But you can see the body is pretty flawless. Like all the body lines, everything, all the gaps, everything looks really good. Uh, the, like I said, the paint job is, is super sharp on it. The trunk here definitely needs a set of uh, hood struts here, or trunk struts here. Uh, it has all the, the tools and everything came with it. Uh, it has a new battery. It does not have the vent hooked up right. I need to hook that up and fix that. Um, there's a few little covers popped off here and there. Um, but everything is there. Inside here is a CD changer. That I do not know if it works or not. Probably does not. But the trunk is clean and everything is there so here's the first bit of overspray i found on the entire thing you can kind of see it right there but so far that's the only overspray i found so right here is a, a kind of a, a protector for your soft top here when you run it with the top down you can put this snap this on over your soft top and it uh, keeps everything nice and protect it from the sun and stuff so you can kind of see how it goes, how it stores in the trunk, and then how it also snaps onto the top of the cover and just makes everything smooth and clean. All right, so we're under here, and you can tell it's had oil leaks in its lifetime, but there's no active running, dripping oil anywhere, which is pretty awesome. So this car has been maintained. Uh, the shocks and struts here 
or the struts, I should say, definitely look to be original equipment and never been replaced. Um, so like I said, the front of the vehicle here, all the, everything, the belly pan, I'm not sure if this car had a belly pan beyond this point or not, but the front belly pan nose portion of it is here. This vehicle is low, so you can see how it, it scrapes on the parking curves and stuff, but um, everything is there. It did have, or does have, a coolant leak, so I need to look into that and pressure test it and see if that's active or if that's an old leak there. So I'll have to run some uh, pressure testing here. So we'll get the pressure washer under here for sure, and we will start cleaning this up and making sure that there's no active oil leaks. But I think these are old leaks that just didn't get washed off. Um, maybe a slight little bit of an oil pan leak right there, but not too bad. Definitely something we'll probably uh, tackle in the future. Uh, the control arm bushings back here in the back, uh, they have a little bit of a, a little bit of wear on them, but they're not, they're not play, there's no play in them yet. Uh, but I'm sure these, these, these joints here are bad. So at some point I will put a set of control arms and rear bushings on it, radius bushings there. And then I will probably swap out some struts here for something. I don't know if we'll do coilovers or just put something OEM back on it. Uh, this car it's just a fun little car to drive as you can see the exhaust is all there uh, it did pass smog and it didn't have any issues going through that and all those readiness monitors have gone through and i don't see any signs of frame damage or anything like that on the front of the vehicle anyways so now we're going to jack up the rear and go back in the back and see how the back of the car looks so so far i think she's done a pretty good job or got really lucky buying this car you know without you know getting an inspection or anything uh for an impulse buy i think she's done so pretty good all right so we're underneath the vehicle and we're looking around the wheel wheel wheels and quarter panels and the rear of the bumper and the subframe and the trunk here looking for any evidence of you know, smashed in or bodywork or anything like that. And there is zero evidence of anything like that. That's the original bumper on the car that you can see here. The aluminum bumper behind the cover. Uh, that's all original. So that is really good sign here. Turn around here. The differential looks good. No leaking out of the differential or the axles or the axle seals. The shocks are definitely uh older i don't know if they've been replaced or not but they are definitely in probably need of replacement but overall i'm really pleased with everything i see there's the evap canister over there the fuel filter down there we'll probably change that out just because who knows how long it's been but the rocker panels are all there and intact and those little scrapes you actually see on the subframes on the right and left on there from us in, in our own driveway here so this is a stock exhaust uh, no frills you know everything is bone stock under here it's kind of what you want to see when you find a car like this so now we can have some fun with it and we can mod it up if we want to all right considering that this is a 20 year old car or 23 year old car I think it's in pretty awesome shape. I think my girlfriend got really lucky and uh, she scored a good deal, a good car, and a good fun car. Uh, my question for you guys is, what do, you, what do we do with this car? Do we just you know, do some maintenance on it and get it and freshen it up a little bit and just drive it? Or do we mod it up a little bit and have some fun with it? Maybe do some autocross or something like that with it. Uh, one of the things I want to do is take it out on, to, on a spirited drive uh like out on a mountain road or something like that so i think that'd be super fun and we'll get our i'll get my chance to do that really soon one other thing i was uh should we mess with my girlfriend should we tell her it's a piece of junk that looks like it's been in uh, multiple car wrecks and just just mess with her a little bit tell me what you think in the, in the description of the video i'm brian this is from how to automotive i'd like to thank you guys for watching and encourage you to subscribe for more cool videos like this